Hello! Right, we're back again for another test. And today I've got another probably extremely hot soup hot to try. This is another cross and um, this is again from John up in London and this is a cross of well, two other crosses to be quite honest. This is the Seven of Nine and um, in case you're wondering what the Seven of Nine stands for it's a bubblegum seven pot crossed with a Borg Nine. Now both of these are insanely hot pods so crossed together I'm expecting it to be pretty brutally hot and um, yeah it's an awesome looking pod kind of nice and bumpy and gnarly on the top bit of a one-sided stingery tan on the bottom um, interestingly you can see it's got the bubblegum 7 characteristics because although it's not got the true bubblegum 7 cap it's got the smaller kind of maruga type cap um, but you can actually see that the cap does actually start to leach through and start turning red like the bubblegum 7 and um, yeah like I said the cap's much smaller and in one piece, whereas the bubblegum seven caps are like really big and, and split into sections. And um, yeah, so you can see, definitely see the trace of the bubblegum seven. And um, well, it's got the Borg nine in there as well. So let's just quickly chop it open, see what it's got inside. And um, again, not going to be taking any seeds from this. So please don't bother asking for seeds. And then we'll get it down. Wow, I've cut it, I've not even separated it yet, and already the whole greenhouse is stinking of soup hot. Whoa, okay. So, placenta central, um, one half of the pod, well no, more than half of the pod, just completely covered in placenta, and um, wow, that is, that is pretty insane. It's full of capsaicin oil, literally pulled up everywhere. And I dread to think what it's like in underneath the placenta where I can't even see it. So that is a pretty insanely, insanely hot looking pod. And um, well, I guess we'll give it a crack and see what it does. So this is the 7 of 9, bubblegum 7, cross with the Borg 9. Cheers! Heat coming off that already. Flavour's good. Now it's going to start peeing down the rain. So you might struggle to hear me in a minute. Ah, flavour is. It's got that like tropical fruitiness to it. <coughs> Not overly sweet, but I think the actual pod's quite sweet. But all that percent in there adds a touch of bitterness mixed in there, just because of the shit sheer amount of capsaicin. capsaicin. Ah. And as you can tell, uh, the heat is rapidly picking up. Man. Uh, uh, This is already getting quite intense. It's although it's burning on the lips and the front of the mouth, the majority of the heat is right at the back of the mouth, top back of the mouth, and then down into the down into the throat. And I know the more I swallow the more heat is going to track down into the back of the throat. Just trying to kind of stay quiet and let the hiccups pass, but 
they're not going to. Still building, but it's it's possibly not building quite as far as I thought thought it was going to. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty brutally hot but at the moment. It's kind of manageable. It's all right. It's still causing tears, hiccups, drool. And and actually, as I'm talking, the heat in the throat is actually getting worse. Building into a, um, a bit of a hot coal now. But definitely flavour-wise, definitely quite nice. Had that. I remember the Borg 9 having a real like tropical note. And that's got the same notes of tropical fruits. Like I said, just marred with the, the heat blows capsaicin in there, just adding that bitter edge, but definitely a good super hot there. The taste, and yeah, the heat as well, turning into quite a rounded burn now. Still really going from the throat, but it's now spread back forward again going all around the mouth, inside of my lips, and now it's starting to attack on the gums as well. As well. I've decided while I've been sat here doing this review that it's definitely time for a new greenhouse soon, because it took me five minutes to find a position to put the camera where I wasn't going to get dripped on. The camera's soaking wet, and there's drips of water falling all around the camera at the moment. Luckily not on it, but uh, as you can see, it's not the nicest of days outside. Pretty windy, blowy, wet, typical UK summer day to be honest. Peaks definitely peak. Like I said, just turned into a all round solid, solid slightly stingy mouth burn, still going in the throat and it's now tracked from the throat down in towards the chest and no doubt soon following into the stomach. But yeah, <coughs> <coughs> sorry I think I've got a seed or something trapped back there. Yeah definitely a, um, <coughs> an awesome variety, a nice looking pod, good taste, good level of heat and um, Obviously pretty unstable, being a, um, an F1 cross of two, of two already, um, well, I, was, I suppose Bubblegum 7 and Borg 9 are F2, but you know it's still going to be a bit unstable, but certainly, as you can see by the tears, it's still coming down my face, that's a bit of a ripper, so yeah, awesome. Right, thanks to John for um, another awesome pod, another package turned up in the post yesterday and um, I can assure you there's some just as evil if not more evil ones to come so yeah awesome thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you again very soon cheers <laughs>